Hi, Ross here, your expert at all things moving. Don't worry if your move is not perfect. A lot of people do a lot of research and try to make it as best of an experience as possible. But mistakes happen, accidents happen too. So here I am with yet another important episode about top 8 mistakes that you can do during the move. Let's go. Mistake number one, waiting until last minute to book. As a helper, as a salesperson, customer service representative, and again, ultimately an owner of the moving company, I know how widespread and often this happens. I had clients call me all the time telling me I have a move tomorrow morning and I have no idea what to do. So my first and most important advice to you would be don't wait until the last minute to book or to plan your move. If you're planning to move, make sure that you start doing something at least five or six weeks before. Start with a checklist and move on from there. Having a preference for unlicensed movers is yet another mistake. It's top two on our list and it can be very damaging to your moving experience. There are a lot of horror stories about those type of movers who collect your deposit, don't show up on a moving day or show up with some drug addicts or some really, really rude people who don't really care about your belongings. So to avoid this mistake, always ask if your company is licensed. Moving tip. Mistake number three is underestimating the fact of a moving itself. If you have moved more than 10 years ago, there is a big possibility that you might have forgotten how many hard work it really needs to to make this whole process smooth and effective. So never be afraid to spend some extra money on professional people helping you pack and clean if this makes your moving experience much more pleasant. Not keeping the track of your paperwork is yet another huge mistake. Most of the big and professional moving companies only deal with you in terms of paperwork. They have an order for you, an estimate that they might change depending on the amount of items that you have on the moving day, and they always write it down along with your signatures. So to make sure that there are no hidden costs, no secret prices, and nothing surprising on the moving date, always, always, always take care of your paperwork. Mistake number five, procrastinating on your packing before the move. A lot of people, and that honestly includes myself, are really lazy and like to procrastinate everything to the very last moment. Be sure that you start packing your belongings before you move at least three or four weeks before you actually depart. Mistake number six, packing boxes too heavy or too full. No matter what happens with the box, it might crumble, it might get damaged, or it might just get ripped in the hands of a mover or yourself. It's still a disappointment and bad news for everybody. So make sure that you pack your boxes not too heavy and not too full, especially if there are some fragile items in them. Those will be stored on the very top of the truck. And if they're too heavy, they might be tilted and get you a lot of disappointment. Moving tip. Mistake number seven, changing your address. A lot of people think that when moving, Changing your address with a post office is enough on its own, but it really isn't. You should do so with your bank, your healthcare provider, your kid's school if you're a family man or a woman, and a couple more other establishments. So to make sure that you don't do this mistake and you have a lot of free time when your move actually happens, start changing your address one, two weeks before you move. And the last one, mistake number eight, is not saving your receipts. Moving isn't cheap, and in a case your employer is transporting you from state to state or from city to city, they usually require receipts of the moving expenses to reimburse you for them later in future. Make sure that you have some sort of binded folder or just a paper folder for all those receipts. Make notes on each one of the receipts to recollect what they are for. None of these mistakes are particularly big or horrible, but 
it only takes one mistake to actually learn what needs to be done. So before you actually went out and done any of them, thank you for watching this video and good luck with your move. Don't make any mistakes. Moving tips.